Chess friends, how are you? I am unable to upload my YouTube videos properly due to my college stuff, anyway I will try my best to work and today I will show you the purest of pure chess game, between Alpha Zero and me, your talent is God's gift to you, what you do with it is your gift back to God, so let's go, I started the game with d4, we have b6, Alpha Zero's insane choice, e5 bishop b7 bishop, d3 knight c3 to target this e pawn, so we have queen e2, knight c6 and I played c3. That move clearly says that I want to push my e pawn, develop my pieces and play castle. Be a first rate version of yourself, instead of a second rate version of somebody else, Alpha is an idol himself so he played e5 himself, we have some top engine moves, the knight a3 move will get a good outpost for him to control the center, bishop e7 and I get the opportunity to expand my center, knight b8, and after some moves later, we have knight f6 queen c8 a4 knight d7 knight e3, look at my crazy knights, they will create lot of problems in the king side, by the way today is independence day in India. Happy independence day my chess dears, we have a5 knight f5 to target the bishop, bishop d8 knight g5, my brave knights are looking for the invasion of the king's army, if a human play chess then they will put their knight in home square or a normal square, but if I play chess, I will do nightmare with my knights, ha ha ha, I have an another strategy to involve the rook on this g file, so alpha played g6 to kick out the knight, knight check king ups queen f3, I sacrificed the knight totally. If you take it then you will fall in trap, knight e6 check will destroy you, you have no square to go so you have to push the pawn, then after bishop check king slides on g6, it will be mate on f5 by the queen, if a human sacrifice a knight then it will be a blunder but if I sacrifice a knight then it will be a brilliant move, lol, so back to the position, we have knight g5, to target the h6 knight, queen h3 and you shouldn't take the knight, there is a trap you know. That's why Alpha responded with knight c5 to offer me to exchange the queens, knight f5 check and if you dare to capture it, let me show you the variation, queen takes h5 will arrive to target this pawn, so after takes takes king f6, knight takes takes, queen h4 check and you can't move up the king because the bishop and queen line up on there, so king g7 queen check king here takes, this is coming so f5, we will give him a check, rook to d3 and that's it. Rook h3 checkmate is coming and how will you stop it? Ha! So back to the position, he runs his king on mouse cage, g5 to target the knight and this pawn, some of you might think of playing bishop takes knight, but that is not the best move because you will lose control over the dark squares, so queen d7 to push the pawn and protect the king's side, so I sacrificed my knight by capturing the pawn, rook can't go there because of knight f6, also there is an amazing move started with b4, which you can't understand because your 2gb brain is not capable of playing chess perfectly, so alpha takes the knight, any ordinary person will take the knight, but after takes there is no possibilities to attack the black king, you will lose all the opportunities, the best and most beautiful things in the world cannot be seen or even touched, so back to the position, we have king h1, threatening to play rook g1, so we have rook h8 rook g1 and after some moves later. We are playing the 4000 elo moves, I've cleared the position to use the rook, bishop is ready there to attack the knight, so alpha tried to save the king and open the rook file, g5 to target the bishop, if you try to protect the bishop, by moving it, then we will play knight h6 check, takes and you know what, you will lose the queen, that's a very simple tactic, if you can't understand it then download Lodo or Snake Ladder game, we have king f8 takes, c6 b5 to target the knight, takes rook to g5. I want to double up my rook on g1 for open up the position, we have knight c5 rook g1 king to e8, a5, very interesting move, inferior human will desire to capture the pawn, let me show you the variation, then we will sacrifice the rook, takes takes, b4, then we will play f7 check, queen takes f7 knight takes d6, it will be a great pleasure to fork up the queen and king, so back to the position, we have rook h7 to protect the 7th rank, I sacrificed the rook on g6 anyway, because after takes takes I am threatening to push the pawn anyhow, even the rook can't save it, let me show you the variation, if you play rook b8 then we will play f7 check, rook check rook blocks queen takes h5 queen blocks, 
takes takes check, king backs knight takes d6 check, king slides bishop g5 check takes and checkmate. Darkness cannot drive out darkness, only light can do that, hate cannot drive out hate, only love can do that, so back to the position, alpha 0 captured the pawn to support the rook and target my queen at the same time, queen f3 to target the knight, if you save the knight with knight h5 then rook to g8 check will come, king ups knight h6 check, and after some moves later, it will be a checkmate, so in this position, alpha 0 decided to play king f7, we have queen g2 rook to h8. Rook g7 check and you shouldn't take it because after queen takes rook, your pieces will be in a great danger, king backs to sacrifice the queen, because alpha has a tactic to attack to my queen, few moves later, we get this position where we have equal amount of pieces, but I am totally winning the game because black's bishop, knights and structure is totally restricted. So wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.